If you're like me, you might often wonder about the math behind popular casino games. Or, if you're like most of the people I've actually gone to a casino with, you might just tell me about that one game you always win at. Or maybe not the game you always win at, but somebody you know. Or somebody you read about. In a pamphlet. From the hotel. Well, I think a lot about the math. So here's a little bit about a phenomena that I find fascinating, known as the Martingale betting system. There are many different variations of this system, but they all work on the same principle. The system is the simplest with bets that pay out the same as the bet, meaning if you win a $1 bet, you walk away with $2. Let's use betting red or black on a roulette wheel as an example. Start by placing a bet of $1. If you win, then you get $2 for the $1 committed, giving you a profit of $1. If you lose, then you double your bet amount to $2. This will pay out $4 if you win. You will have committed a total of $3 and won 4 for a profit of $1. If you lose the second bet, then you double your bet amount again to $4. This will pay out $8 if won, and you will have committed only 7 meaning again you have a profit of $1. The progression continues in this fashion, doubling your bet every time you lose until you win, at which point you will be up exactly $1. So the only way to lose money with this system is if you lose so many times in a row that you can't make a large enough bet to make your money back. So you don't have to win every time, you just have to win eventually. On a double zero roulette wheel, there are 18 red spaces, 18 black, and 2 green. So if you're betting red or black, you have a 47% chance of winning every time. So it must be pretty unlikely that you'll lose that many times in a row, right? Before I let you daydream too long about the seaplane you plan on buying with your winnings, let me dash your hopes right away by saying no, this system will absolutely not make you any money. The reason this system will not make you money is because of exponential growth and because a long string of losses is way more likely than it might seem. Let's say you're able to find an inexpensive table that allows a minimum bet of $5. While surviving a small string of losses won't be too difficult to cover, but it gets expensive fast. Losing four times in a row, this table will only require a starting bankroll of $75. But to survive seven losses in a row, you'll need to start with $635. Yes, technically if you were able to bet an infinite amount of money, you could actually profit from this system. The problem is that tables have minimum and maximum bet limits. Most $5 minimum tables have a maximum bet of $500. So if you lost seven in a row, you wouldn't even be able to make the eighth bet of $640 to win back your five. So this could get pretty expensive pretty fast, if you lose too many times in a row. But they have to happen in a row. How likely is that? Well, losing seven times in a row has a probability of 0.53 raised to the seventh power, which is 1.1%. Sweet, that probably won't happen. I guess we can start shopping for seaplanes. Unless, of course, there's some terrible flaw with that math, which of course there is. The flaw is that that is the probability of losing seven times in a row, given you only play seven times. Let's assume you sit down at a table for more than just seven spins. If you're there for an hour or two, you could feasibly see 60 spins. And the odds of getting a string of seven losses or more over the course of 60 spins jumps up to 26.2%. Still not a super high probability, but keep in mind that if you don't run into this losing streak, you'll probably only make about $142, and the cost of losing is $635. A 26% chance of losing means you'll lose the $635 roughly one out of every four betting sessions. Say you play four nights in a row like this, you bust once but survive the other three nights. You'll be expected to make around $426 in the three winning nights, but you'll lose $635 the night you lost, for a total loss of $209. Now if you played the same amount of spins by just placing a minimum bet on black or red every time, you'll be expected to lose about $60. So not only will the Martingale system not make you any money, it's actually pretty devastating to your total payout. The Martingale system, like almost all betting systems, gives you several small victories in exchange for the occasional big time loss. Roulette has a house advantage, and there's absolutely no legal way to overcome or even reduce that house advantage. Plenty of minds greater than mine or yours have tried, and all have failed. However, I can say that this system can be fun to try out, because until you inevitably lose everything, you've lost nothing. And it can be exciting to place the large bets that follow after a few losses. But like all true gambling, it can only be done for fun. If you play it expecting to make money, then fun will not be had. But what if your goal is not to make money, but just to stay alive at the table the longest? Can using a system like this extend the amount of bets you can make before you inevitably go bust? In part two of this video, I'll go over how long you'll stay alive at a table with different betting strategies, and I'll also derive the equations behind them. Ask a question of your own or find out more at mathematics.com.